After warning us against false prophets, our Savior then takes us and warns us against false professions of faith. And I want to challenge you today to be sure that you have the root of the matter within you. You've heard this before. It is an unpopular passage of Scripture, but it is, it is crucial. It is unavoidable. And the Savior tells us in Matthew chapter 7 and verse 21, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. It's very interesting. On that day, there'll be many people telling what they had done, telling the Savior what they did in his name. But just because somebody claims to have done something in the name of Christ doesn't mean that the Lord Jesus is in agreement with that claim. It's interesting, the great preacher, the Prince of Preachers, Charles Spurgeon, from the Metropolitan Tabernacle in London once said, if you profess to be a Christian, yet find full satisfaction in worldly pleasures and pursuits, your profession is false. And the truth is there are many people today who claim to be Christians and they think that perhaps because they were christened as a baby or because they worship in a church on a Sunday, they think that that makes them indeed a Christian. The Savior said very clearly, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, it's not about what you say, but you say, but the Savior said, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes, have you truly called upon him? Have you sought after him with all of your heart? Or have you simply walked a certain walk in front of a certain people and learned a certain jargon or conversation to please and tickle the ears of those that you know are wanting and desiring to hear those things? The Savior says this, He that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, he is the one that is on his way. It works in doing the will of God the Father is not what purchases your ticket, but it is the evidence that you truly belong to him. It is the evidence that you've been born again, that your pursuit is not after your will and your desire and your wishes, but your pursuit is after the will of God. I wonder today, are you living as unto the Lord? Are you desiring to obey His will? Are you desiring to follow His leading? Or are you simply following, chasing after your own heart's desires? This is so important that we get this right. Because on that day, there'll be many saying, Lord, Lord, didn't we preach in your name? Didn't we do many wonderful works in your name? And perhaps some of the saddest words ever to be heard from the lips of our Savior are these, depart from me. I never knew you. Not that I knew you one time, but I don't know you any longer. No, I never knew you. Signifying that there had never been a relationship with Jesus Christ. Proving that they had never been born again. Not that they'd had it and then lost it, but they never had it to begin with. So I want to encourage you today, do a little bit of digging and searching. Be certain of where you stand with the Savior today. God bless you. Have a fantastic day and look forward to seeing you tomorrow, God bless.